If you're feeling a little bit under the weather, then this recipe is for you. Today, I'm gonna to be making a copycat version of the Starbucks Medicine Ball Tea. However, unlike the classic version that contains truckloads of sugars, ours is gonna be lower on the sugar end. In fact, there is even an option for those of you who are following a ketogenic lifestyle. It contains zero added junk, and the best part is it's actually pretty affordable, meaning that you can make this every single day if you wanted to and not break the bank. Metabolic Living family, welcome to our YouTube channel. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Bella. I'm the lead nutritionist and recipe developer here at Metabolic Living. Very, very excited to be sharing this one with you. This is actually one of my favorite drinks. And before I realized that you could make it at home, I would honestly go to Starbucks and get it because it was just so soothing and delicious. And it really felt almost, if I, if I felt like I had something coming on, it felt like it was really doing me good. However, when I looked at the ingredients, I was pretty shocked at the amount of sugar. There's actually a ton of sugar in just one small medicine ball tea at Starbucks. If you don't know what medicine ball tea is, it's essentially a really delicious, soothing and warming drink with all sorts of delicious flavors like peach and mint and honey and all of that good stuff. We are gonna be making our own at home today and it's very, very simple. What you're gonna need to start off with is a cup of water. Now, what I love to do just to make sure I'm getting the exact amount is get your favorite mug, fill it up with water and then just pop it into a saucepan like so. Now here is the secret sauce, the special ingredients that are gonna make this one taste even better than the one at Starbucks. What you're gonna need are two types of tea. Preferably try and buy organic if you have access. If not, then these ones are gonna do just fine, the tea varnish. So the first tea bag that you're gonna need is some sort of minty tea. So I really like to use peppermint, you could do spearmint, you could do a blend of mint tea, whatever um, you, again, you have access to. Just make sure you're checking for all sorts of weird added sugars and ingredients um, that they might pop in there. The other thing you're gonna need is one peach tea bag. Now you can get plain peach tea, but there are also a lot of peach blends out there that actually also taste delicious. Now this tea barna one is not organic, but I honestly could not find an organic one at my store. And this is actually the one that Starbucks do use in their medicine ball tea recipe. So bottom line, you need one mint tea bag and one peach tea bag. You're also gonna need one lemon. Now you can adjust this to taste. I love to use half a lemon in my medicine ball tea, but if you like it a little bit more zesty, feel free to crank that up, or you can also decrease it if you fall on the opposite end of the spectrum. And then we're gonna be moving on to sweeteners. So there are several different options here, but these are the two that I kind of switch between. Um, the first one, and this is gonna be great for you if you're following a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle, or you just don't want any added sugars, maybe a great um, option for you if you're planning to drink this quite a bit. I would recommend using something like monk fruit sweetener or swerve like so. Um, these are actually sugar alcohols. They contain no um, added sugars or carbs that are gonna spike your um, glucose levels um, and also lead to things like cravings, but could also lead to weight gain as well. So if you're kind of conscious of that, um, I would opt for Swerve. I start off with two teaspoons of any sweetener, but feel free to adjust it to your taste. The other sweetener that I really love to use is Manuka honey. Unlike any artificial honeys that are pretty much just straight sugar, Manuka honey actually contains a ton of different health benefits. It's a really awesome one. If you feel like you're coming down with something, Manuka honey is awesome to include. Just a fun little tip, honestly, having this in your medicine cabinet works wonderfully. Like if you have like a coleslaw or something, perfect to just pop on there. Any cuts, burns, Manuka honey is actually really, really powerful. So another option, um, if you don't mind so much, a little bit of carbohydrate, but also want to reap all those amazing he health benefits that Manuka honey offers, I like to do one to two teaspoons of Manuka honey as well as an alternate option. You can of course play around um, and do a little bit of both, whatever takes your fancy. So very, very easy to make this recipe. As I mentioned, what you're going to do is pop your water in into a saucepan and you're gonna bring this water up to the boil. You do want your water to be really nice and warm so that those tea flavors can infuse in there. So go and pop this on the stove, bring that water up to the boil and then when it's really nice and warm, bring it back here and we'll do those last final steps. So we've got a really gorgeous cup of boiling water. It is very, very toasty. There is steam coming off. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Anyway, now is um, the next step. We're gonna steep our tea. So actually what you're gonna do is pop two tea bags right on into the water. You can, if you prefer, um, pour the water into the cup and do this, but this is my favorite cup and it's a little bit small. So I'm gonna just pop the tea bags 
right in here. I do like to remove the uh, paper. Sometimes it has some like colorings and stuff. I don't wanna be drinking that. Anyway, pop both tea bags in. And what you're gonna do is actually just leave them to steep for about five to six minutes. So those flavors really, really infuse um, and they just taste absolutely delicious. Our tea has steeped. It smells amazing. It's gone a really uh, like a dark, gorgeous color. So we are ready for our last steps, adding that gorgeous lemon in. So just squeezing that in. Lemon high in vitamin C, also gonna add some delicious flavor in here. I just get a few pits, you can see. And then we're gonna add our sweetener. So I'm actually, just for today, gonna add a teaspoon of both, because why not? So we're popping in some Manuka honey in there. As I mentioned, when buying honey, please either try and buy Manuka or you could also do some like raw local honey, but Manuka honey really has been proven time and time again to have the most health benefits. Sadly, a lot of honey on the shelves isn't actually honey at all. It's like natural flavors that taste like honey um, and a bunch of sugar. So please be aware um, and just make sure you read those labels and check out that sourcing when you're buying honey. I'm also gonna add teaspoon of the swerve just to show that both work and both are delicious in this recipe awesome so stir it all together this smells just like the medicine ball tea at Starbucks yum 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 so what I'm gonna do is get my favorite mug and I'm actually gonna strain this through a mesh sieve just to make sure those pips are out and those tea bags are out grab a mesh sieve grab your favorite cup and then very carefully pour your tea through Beautiful. Ooh. And let's give it a try. Unbelievably delicious. Yum. And there you have it guys, really, really simple. I mean, I don't know about you, but why bother going to the store, spending like $5 on something that's really just packed with loads of sugar when you could actually make your own that actually contains those antiviral and antibacterial properties right in your house very very simply literally in under probably i guess 10 minutes because you have to let, let the tea steep but very very affordable too you can make them for your entire family you can make them throughout the winter season it's definitely going to be your new favorite drink i can assure you I would love to know on the note of coffee shops, what your favorite coffee shop drink is. Maybe I can do another copycat recipe. Let me know if you'd like that. Other than that, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, especially over the winter months. Um, enjoy your medicine ball tea, and I will see you all very, very soon in another recipe video.